And it's about Nikhil Harry. Um, again, not much of a factor in this game. Um, well, I, well, not much of a factor. <laughs> we'll when you, not much of a factor when you consider what you would want from a first round pick <laughs> wide receiver. <laughs> that that's always the way yeah. I kind of position this. So, I want you guys to describe to me just just overall. From what we've watched from two plus almost three seasons of Nikhil Harry, if you had to describe this young man when one word with one word, what would that be? I'm gonna start with you, Paul. What would you say? Yeah, I'm gonna be prisoner of the moment here. I, I, I'm gonna go based off of just what we just saw, and the word that jumps to mind is idiot. Now, let's go to the <laughs> tail of the page here, and so Nikhil Harry. He's on a return play, and he gets in the way, and the ball hits off the dome. Now, okay, if that's not bad enough, he pretends like it didn't. He's like, oh, I know what you're looking at. I didn't touch me. And the Bill, and the Bill's player, to his credit for a second, goes, wait a second. No, it didn't. No, wait. Yes, it did. And the Bill's player jumped on it. That could have, should have, would have been a turn in a game, which ended up being, like, what, 14 then? That could have, should have, would have cost the Patriots the game. So, so Harry's an idiot for, for for first off, just being in that position. What are you doing, man? Like, back up. We had the old, when I was back in high school playing football, we yelled, fire, which meant get the end away from the football. <laughs> I remember that. Yep. We yep. Red flag. No, thank you. Fire, fire, get away. It's hot. It's on fire. And and apparently that message did not get across to Nikhil Harry. So again, not only was he in the range, which is not good, it bounced off his head and he tried to convince Bill, no, didn't touch me. Jump on the ball, man. What are you doing? An idiot. An idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I love Paul, it. Paul, Paul, you're a special teams ace, right? Yeah, that's it's right. Something. That's right. Hall of Famer, man. <laughs> it's special teams ace. Uh, so Ryan, can you, can you let me know what you think, sir? Oh, I mean, he was pitiful. I think he's been pitiful Ooh, his whole so career. Weird. And today he was pitiful. Now I will say this. I think a commenter brought it up that he was, uh, you know, great blocking today. I mean, you could get anyone to do that, I guess, you know, a uh, guy off the street, if he wants to block when everyone knows you're going to run the whole game. Um, uh, but I mean, the guy's just been pitiful. I mean, if the, Patriots were a bottom feeder. If they were one of the worst teams in the NFL, Harry wouldn't be on the Patriots by now. Uh, mm. He w- he wouldn't be on the team. But since you know they're what nine and four now, um, they can just say you know what, whatever whatever Harry gives to us, what little crumbs Harry can give to us, we'll take. And he hasn't done even that. So I mean, it, it's it's pretty bleak at the moment in terms of Harry. You know, I didn't really like him too well. You know, coming out of college, but. Again, that's what you know. Paul was saying about Belichick's GM skills in the past. Um, so yeah, it, it's been very pitiful. I, I think that's a very good uh, word to describe uh, Harry. It's, it's rough words. It. It's a nasty game in this in this room. What do yeah. you got, Mister Reyna? I'm going to go international. The word I'm going to use is oh, toto, God. toto. And oh. for those who uh, who may have studied Spanish, it means dumb. It means stupid. That's oh. the best way. Oh, to describe it's even it. worse. Yes. 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 <laughs> I mean, I, I'm going to pick it back off of everything Paul and Ryan said about the muff punt. And it's like, it just, how much more can you worsen your own career with a play like that? And the guy, like, if I were to pick a nicer word, I would say blocker. But at this point, it's like the guy needs to go the Jamarcus Russell route, you know, pack on the pounds and play another position to save his career, maybe move to left tackle, right tackle, whatever, because that's that's left the route that tackle, it's going with. Right tackle. Yeah, that's the route that it's going with in Kill Harry. I mean, it's, I mean, I, I saw in the chat, I saw in the chat that his blocking was superior. Yeah, his block is superior. The guy wasn't a factor as a receiver. The guy wasn't a factor as a special teamer. It's like, might as well put him on the offensive line at this point. Well, well, okay. So he has been playing uh, as a blocking wide receiver, uh, essentially for the past, I would say four weeks, and he's been very effective with crack blocks on the outside edge guy. It has really helped 
uh, the Patriot outside run game. It has, right? But obviously, when you draft a wide receiver in the first round, you would not essentially expect him to um, for that to be essentially his biggest contribution to your offense. And, you know, it, it sometimes gets a little bit redundant. We, you know, every time you mention the kill Harry and his lack of effectiveness, you start to mention the DK Metcalfs and the AJ Browns and the Deontay Johnson's Hunter Renfro's and all of these guys, Debo Samuel, all of these guys who were drafted after the Patriots took him. So, it, but it's still true. Right. And then when you watch him to, uh, in every game, and obviously they only threw the ball three times. So it's not as if, you know, he would have been a major factor in this offense anyway today. But when you see these limited opportunities out here and he's at back here in, in, in playing special teams and just the – I think the problem with, 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 with me is with Nikhil Harry, and I'm looking for the single word that I would use – but for Nikhil Harry, the single word that I would use is like disengaged. Mm. You know, he he just or aloof. Maybe aloof is a better word. Mm. It's kind of like he just doesn't get it. He does not get the sense of urgency in uh, his per his situation. Right? Like there, you know, there's people who are. Uh, at practice, and I'm talking about uh, the journalists that cover the the, the, the team locally, <laughs> they're at practice regularly, and they, they're observing the Kill Harry's demeanor uh, in training camp and, and that sort of thing. And it's just he's not plugged in. And, and, you know, that's one thing. Some guys can do that. You know how you're in school, right? And there's some kids that don't have to go hard. They don't have to study like that. They don't have to take meticulous notes. They don't have to put colored tabs on pages and stuff so to remember stuff. But those kids, somehow they get good grades, right? And so you kind of leave them alone. You're just like, okay, this kid's got it. I don't. I wouldn't necessarily say copy his study habits, but some sort of way he or she gets it done. But then you got some kids that want to do it that same way, and they're D, C, D, and F students. And you're like, no, bro, no, ma'am, you need to study. And – Nikhil Harry is like one of those guys who it seems like he was the no study guy at Arizona State and they just threw the ball up a bunch of times and he used his frame to win a bunch of jump balls and you know just a lot of mindless kind of a plays and pure athleticism and now that he's in the NFL there's a need for him to transition to a more cerebral style game and he's unable to do it and so and it's like he just doesn't get it so those, that's why that's the word that I would use. It's very, he's a very frustrating guy because I, I was actually rooting for him at one point. But then I, I, a turnoff for me is always when there is a guy who doesn't seem to want to accept any level of accountability for their failures. And when you start blaming other people, oh, you know, you have your, your footwork coach blaming Cam Newton last year. Now you want to get traded because you said they've never given you an opportunity and da, 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 da. always somebody else except for you. It's you, bro. Yeah, that's why I think you if know. Patriots were one of the worst teams in football, I think he'd be gone by now. I really yeah. do think that. Yeah, I, I don't know. And, I, and I, Brian, I, know. I also want to go. Um, so like the whole Nikhil Harry, like again, I mentioned, I think it was like two, three weeks ago, how I saw him briefly at Arizona State. I always felt that he got away with the fact that he didn't go against very many tall or physical corners in that part of the Pac-12. That's how he was able to thrive. Now he gets to the NFL, and it's like, I mean, he's he looks lost. Yeah, bigger, stronger guys in the, on the NFL level for sure, more sophisticated defenses. Everybody's bigger. Everybody's faster. I don't know. It's just um, – just looks like a guy who's just not willing to put in the work, in my opinion. I mean, I think he wants to go and do the body beautiful stuff because I think he wants to be able to stand up in the mirror oiled up and look, you know, and take Instagram pictures. I think he wants that. But the football stuff, it doesn't seem like he really wants. So I don't know. We'll like, like D'Angelo? Like D'Angelo or? Who is D'Angelo? Oh, the, the RV seeker. Oh, on title. How does he feel? Yeah, that. 
that my that's my that was my song right there you know that's a really weird story and my grandmother was like trying to push the television back so she could see down or <laughs> it was really it really made me very uncomfortable it was just too much too much all right let's move on YouTube to it, next. YouTube it, ladies and gentlemen youtube it <laughs> she made, she, that you made me think of every time i think about d'angelo and that song i can't my grandmother wrote the song right, right. because every time i yes just take a drink just take a drink that's what you gotta do